BBC News with Eileen McHugh. Britain's governing Conservative Party has set out the rules and timetable for the contest to replace Boris Johnson as party leader and the country's Prime Minister. To enter the race, each of the 11 candidates will need to be nominated by 20 fellow Conservative MPs. Voting will start on Wednesday with a final result expected by September the 5th. European governments are worried that gas supplies to the continent may not resume following the annual shutdown of the Nord Stream 1 pipeline under the Baltic Sea. The pipeline's Russian-backed operators say they are carrying out standard maintenance work, but Germany's economy minister said he was concerned Russia was using gas supplies as a weapon. Ukraine's commissioner for missing persons says more than 7,000 Ukrainian military and security personnel are unaccounted for. Oleg Kotenko said that most of the missing were believed to be in Russian captivity. The White House National Security Advisor, Jake Sullivan, says Iran is planning to supply hundreds of drones to Russia for use in Ukraine. Mr Sullivan said some would be weapons capable. President Biden has described the United States as a wash in weapons of war and renewed a call for a ban on assault weapons. He was speaking at the White House to mark the recent passage through Congress of the Gun Safety Bill. The four times British Olympic athletics champion Mo Farah has revealed that he was brought into the UK illegally under the name of another child. Sir Mo told a BBC documentary he was born in Somaliland as Hussein Abdikahin. His father was killed. He was separated from his mother and brought to Britain under an assumed name, Mohammed Farah. And soaring temperatures have again gripped much of Europe. Drought conditions have been recorded in countries from Italy to Portugal. The hottest temperature was recorded in Seville in southern Spain. BBC News.